Hello and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. Yeah, just ignore my appearance um, and get used to this hat ship making an appearance every once in a while, even in the summertime, because I think this is a pretty cool hat. Anyways, if you're laughing, that's just fine. Um, so Little Bats has a seasonal flavor out again. And it's new. There's cinnamon, cinnamon muffins. And it's got like pictures of cinnamon rolls. Now I'm wondering if the little chips in there are like cream cheese or icing, whatever. Um, it doesn't say, it doesn't really explain. All it says is one pouch has uh, 180 calories. I assume there's... There's four muffins in a pouch, and there's five containers. Now, your average fat boy could eat the whole box in a day. But we're just going to go with one, especially when i got other things to review. Um, Duncan's has a new red velvet um, drink that I'm going to go try. And I think I'm going to get the latte. I'm going to get both at some point. But I think I'm going to review the latte. Because it's more central focus to the uh, red velvet. Well, it's called pink velvet. But you know, the red velvet taste. So there's very soft, very cold. Um, we have a cold house. And uh, no heat in the kitchen. So, uh, we deal with that. Um, but surprisingly not, like, too firm or anything from it being cold. So, you know, maybe it'll be good. But let's see. Let's find out. It definitely has that cinnamon taste. It tastes like one of those cinnamon buns you'd buy. Like a peak. You know those pecan uh, rolls, whatever they call them? It tastes just like that. I forget what you call them. But some of them are called pecan rolls. But I know it's, it's, it's the one that... I'm so sorry. It's really good, but honestly, a fresh cinnamon roll is always better. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be pretty easy to rate, I'll say. Yeah, if you want those, uh, I guess you call them pecan rolls, if you want those, but... In a unique form, this is where you go. I don't think those little white chips or cream cheese or anything special. Um, they're good. I like them. But again, not as good as a fresh cinnamon roll, which no one should be surprised. My suggestion is to heat them up. That will probably make them taste even better. Sometimes I know that they suggest that on their package. I think Hostess usually does. Um, doesn't look like there's anything that suggests it on here. But obviously it's better heated up. So yep, yeah, that's my review. I'm sticking to it. I'm going to give that an 8. So solid. I would recommend these if you find them. But don't expect the best type of cinnamon bun vibe. You get more of a pecan roll, which is no surprise here. So that's my review. And, uh, you know, I hope y'all are having a good week. It's Thursday. Week's almost over, so just take a breather and be excited. Um, but, yeah, go try these out. Um, and, uh, stay, and stay tuned because there's more 
things coming soon uh, on this page. So yeah, give this video a like, give it a share, give it a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. That Instagram has really been slow as of late. I'm not very happy with that, um, especially with the high expectations that when I found out about the Ben and Jerry's uh, new um, half baked bites, you know, no one really paid it any mind when it was me that reported it. But all these big mega pages, you know, they get all this attention. So I just get mad about that. So if you're watching this and you have not followed Redneck Snack and Food on Instagram, I highly suggest it because it is really irritating me. I really want this to expand. And my YouTube progressively has done that. But my Instagram likes to just sit there. And it's weird because my Instagram has more followers. But my YouTube, there's about two new followers per week. Instagram, I get lucky if there's like a surge of maybe five people in a month. Like there's like a week where five people follow. But then it's very, very, very quiet. So I would like that to be fixed. Um, of course, a lot of these things with social media kind of piss me off. And that's kind of why I just need to step away from social media. But it's not happening. I've tried it too many times. Um, and then I enjoyed talking about this stuff. And I feel like there's a better audience out on social media watching me. Rather than just talking one-on-one -on -one to a couple people. So yeah. That's it. Um, I'll have more videos soon. Don't know exactly what besides Duncan's new product. But there will be things to talk about. So yep. That's it, and uh, yeah, just go enjoy the rest of your week while I put more content on here. So yep, that's about it.